In today's vlog guys, we are on the island of Zanti and in the resort of Kalamaki. We're gonna take a look around, we're gonna explore a few shops, head down the strip road, head down the old road, check out the beach, give you all the information you need if you come in here and uh, maybe revisit a few memories if you've been before. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ross, Kate's with me today as well. We're cross travel, we do tourist things and holiday destinations. So if you like the video, just click like and subscribe down there. It's absolutely free. And also you can click the bell for notifications. But let's get to it. Uh, anyone know what this memorial here is for? Or is it a grave? It looks like a grave, to be honest. But I'm going to guess it's not a grave and it's just a memorial. Let us know in the comments. Um, it's a bit of a strange place to have it, though. But yeah, like I say, if you know, drop it down below. So one thing I've noticed actually, well, since we've been here, is there's a lot of um, there's a lot of like vehicle hire places. Do you know what I mean? So there's loads of quad bike rentals, moped rentals, car rentals. It's got everything. And also you're right next to the airport, uh, so you constantly got planes going in and out. You'll be constantly hearing planes if you come here. But I don't mind that at all, really. It doesn't bother you. There are plenty of inflatables that you can get for your poolside or beach activities. Them ones out there are about between 10 and 20 euros each. Um, and obviously every shop's got turtles that you can buy, like stuffed turtles, plush cuddly toy turtles, cashing in on Turtle Island, obviously. One thing I've never understood about most holiday places, what, what's with the wooden penises? Do you know what I mean? What? I don't get it. I know we've got one, but Steve sent us that. It's not like we paid for it. It's just there now. But yeah, I just don't, I don't understand the fascination with it. So Palomo's there, they do a Greek night. Um, have you been there before? Even if it's not a Greek night, have you been? What's the food like? Is it any good? Drop it in the comments for us. Yeah, Uzo's not really for me. I had a bad experience with Uzo. One's going to stop being sick when I was going over off it. I wouldn't recommend. Special mention there for Mr. and Mrs. Portsmouth. Ugh, can't get my glasses on. Yeah, that's just for you guys. So 
got his Coretta Fun Park there. Uh, they've got loads of inflatables. It's great for families. There's a few rides for the Zumora uh, thrill seeking kids in there as well. It, it looks really good. Down, it, it does look a little run down in the daytime. Well, yeah, but as you walk down and, and you see everything that's there, it does actually look quite good. Yeah. Uh, Pandesia there. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. And then over the road, you've got the family restaurant. And most of these restaurants do have a Greek night. We've got Danny's place coming up next to us now as well. That's another place that does a Greek night. Now, no word of a lie, there must be about five or six, maybe even more, <clears throat> excursion places up Kalamaki Strip. Um, which ones are the most trusted, which ones are the best? Let us all know in the comments. If you are wondering what the average price of um, a cocktail or a beer is, then they're very, actually all bars are very similar, aren't they? So you are looking at between four euros or four euros fifty for a pint of Mythos and your cocktails, I'd say between, depending on what you have obviously, between five euros and seven euros fifty. Um, but that is what you'll find in most bars. Other bars will charge slightly more or slightly less depending on where you go. But you are looking at generally the same price everywhere. Really do this cross the road. Um, <laughs> corner 45 there. So it's, it's a good bar. That is a really nice strawberry daiquiri. Um, and we went there for lunch as well. I had a jacket potato and beans. Kate had a, a cheeseburger. It was after eating some food as well. I'd recommend that place. Just over the road there you've got Sweet Sin's Shisha Bar, which we actually call the Beaver Bar because every time we walk past there's nothing but Justin Bieber playing out of that one. Uh, we haven't been in Artigiano, if you have, would you recommend it? Is it good? And then there's another Greek restaurant there on the other side of the road. So let us give us your recommendations down below. There are quite a few pool bars along the Kalamaki Strip. Apparently, in Greece, you are not tied to your own hotel pool. You can actually go pool hopping around all the different hotels and nobody stops you. So we're going to try that one day. Um, what's the time? Time check. Nine. It's quarter past nine right now. And it's 25 degrees already. It is scorching hot. Whew. So over the road, you got the Rose and Crown British Pub, Speakeasy, which is our go-to for our cocktails. And yeah. yeah, and then you have got Pitta Pan, the best gyros in Zanti. Maybe. Well, maybe not Zanti, but definitely in Kalamaki. 
squeaky easy do the little lawyer to card five cocktails get one free yeah that's right yeah so yeah um i might mention it in the pizza pan vlog you do get a uh, loyalty card so if you go in buy a cocktail at speakeasy they stamp it and after you've brought five you get another one for free absolutely love the theme of that restaurant Parthenon. it looks absolutely great uh, is the food just as good as a theme in? Let us know down there. And his place there as well. It's another one that's got good write ups on um, Google reviews. What do you think though? Again, comment. Yeah, that was me nearly getting run over. Be careful. So the venue, always a live act on here. Um, it sounded really good, was it Friends Bar, which is just over there. We were there a couple of nights ago and uh, it was a good crowd in there as well, wasn't there? Yeah. So yeah, we're going to check that out one night. Another excursion shop. You can just count walking along here how many they are, don't you? into the melon pub for a quick rest we really needed this actually because it is so hot isn't it and a nice cold glass of coke no beer yet still got an excursion today it's 9 35 and it's 27 degrees yeah wow wow i'm pretty glad we're doing the turtle cruise today now actually yeah but we'll uh we'll see you down kalamaki's old road So up here somewhere is the cave bar, we're going to be checking that out in a future vlog. I think it's either free transport, if it's changed it's two euros in a buggy to get up there. Or you can walk it, I mean I'd rather get a buggy to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> So here we are now on Kalimaki Old Road. There's a few more bars here. I think it's a little bit more chilled out down this way from what we've heard. So let's have a look.
so just next to us here is the Crystal Beach Hotel. Have you guys stayed there? If you have, is it any good? Drop it in the comments for us. So here we are now at Kalimaki Beach. It goes all the way along. You can walk to Laganas along this beach as well. It's a fair trek, but it's a decent walk if you've got water. We did it the other day. Forgot to pick water up. And it was horrible, let's be honest. <laughs> but let's take a look. Some people have written books, some have a great look that covers the magazines for kids who are 17. But I don't know what to do. Staring into the blue sky and just waiting for a sign Some, they are certain of what awaits them when it all ends But I don't know what will happen Right, so this is actually a much better side of the beach than uh, towards the old road I've just found that the other beach wasn't as nice as you get further towards Laganas, do you know what I mean? So, but anyway, these rocks look absolutely amazing, let's take a look at these be remembered in a century or will I be forgotten like dust in the wind or the talk of the town that we are living in well I don't know I don't know I know I've got the whitest feet in the world I need to comment on that So that is Kalamaki in a nutshell. Um, it's a really nice resort actually, we're really enjoying it here. It is nice and we're definitely thinking we definitely visit another Greek island. Um, but that is all for this week. Don't forget you can like and subscribe, it's down there. It's absolutely free and you can follow us on Facebook as well. And ding that bell for notifications for video uploads. We'll see you next week. Bye bye.